Y'all, I have not made a video in so long, but today is the day and I am back. I am at Total Wine and I am about to pick up some wine and I am about to make a video because why not? It has been so long and I'm back. So let's go inside and see what we can find. Hi guys, welcome back to Black Mom Who Wines. It is a wine down Wednesday and it has been like two or three months since I have made a video for you guys. There has been a lot going on, but hopefully I'm back to some sort of normalcy. So hopefully Wine Down Wednesday will kind of, you know, get back on the, you know, it's normal program. But for now, since it is, the weather is starting to break and it's starting to get a little bit cooler outside. They've got the pumpkin spice, apple spice, whatever your fall flavors. I figured I need to go ahead and get myself together because I'm debating on if I want to do advent calendar again this year. And if I am, I got to get things rolling, get things back on the ball. So... I'm getting myself together. So let's go ahead and get started. So today's glass is just going to be my favorite glass, my Black Mom Who Wines glass that Pathway Pathway Creations created for me. Um, so go check him out. He does dope, you know, t-shirts, glasses, and stuff like that. Support Black business. Um, so yeah, that's the glass I'm going to be drinking out of tonight. Um, let's see. The wine, oh, I didn't go to Kroger. Those of you that are new here or, you know, got to catch up on my videos, want to go back and see past videos, I love Kroger. So I'm going to venture out and go to different places and find different wines at different places. Tonight, I, or today, um, I chose to go to Total Wine because I had a 50% off coupon. So why not use it? So I went to Total Wine and I... Got one on total one because it was going to be 50% off. So I got this no curfew. No curfew. No curfew. Um, I'm actually on vacation right now. So that's why I chose this no curfew because I don't have to go to work tomorrow. Um, so yeah, there's no curfew for me. I can do what I want. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so this is um, a red wine. It says no curfew, red wine, because limitations are a drag. Hmm. 2018, California. So we'll see. We'll see. Let me go ahead and read the back for you guys. Um, it says, let's face it, when things really get going, no one wants a curfew. We couldn't agree more. Limit limitations are a drag, so we threw off all constraints when making this wine, sourcing only the best grapes from exceptional vineyards to make a wine worthy of your post-curfew adventures. This sounds like it'll get you in trouble, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, I've been living my best life for these past couple of months, um, at least trying to live my best life, at least what I can without, you know, the stressors, but try to be carefree. So no curfew. <laughs> um, it says, uh, hold on. It also says cellared and bottled by Palisades Wine Company, American Canyon, Napa County, California. Um, no curfews wine.com. Oh, I tried to go online to find, uh, I guess I was Googling the wrong thing. So let me go online and see what the website says. And I'll get that for you guys. Um, I guess this is full body because it's got 14.5% alcohol by volume. So this is a full bodied wine. So let's go see what the website says. And then we'll give it a little taste. Taste, y'all. I'm excited. It says um, no curfew, P 
Pinot Noir, aromas laced with crushed cherry, ripe, ripe strawberry, and spice. Um, the initial mouthfeel is lush and leads into the mid palate with ex excellent structure and balanced acidity. Deep red fruits dominate and clean dominate the clean and long finish. Um, it's dry, um, medium bodied, California red. And that's it. I'm assuming the website probably would have given me more, but the website is not coming up. So, oh well. Um, it says it's dry. I'm not going to count this one out because over the past, if you've been kind of following me or watching me over the past like year, um, even though I took a break, my palette has definitely changed. Um, my little saying is my palette, my choice, my taste. Um, I, it has definitely changed. It's definitely evolved. Um, I used to not care for super dry wines, but what I consider dry has definitely changed. I used to not go for, or what used to be really dry to me, um, is not really dry to me anymore. So the palette has definitely changed. So the snack that I'm going to have today is a little charcuterie board that I put together with some fallish um, snacks. Um, here is a picture of it. I'm hoping I'm pointing in the right corner. <laughs> um, it's got, uh, I'm looking at it right now. It's got some brie, some smoked turkey, um, just, you know, for accent. I don't really eat meat for real, for real like that, but it's just up there because charcuterie is meat, but I don't be eating meat for real. Um, some cheese cubes because I didn't feel like cutting my own cheese. Um, <laughs> crackers, grapes, the fallish thing that's on there are these maple, I think they're maple glazed, um, or maple pecan yogurt pretzels. Then these snickerdoodle walnuts. Um, I'm really excited to try those. Snickerdoodle is like my favorite all-time um, fall flavor. But I can eat snickerdoodle any time of the year. I make a bomb snickerdoodle cookie. Um, some blackberries. Um, some gourmets. Just some plain crackers. And this fig and honey um, spread. So... I'm not going to eat all of that in front of y'all. I'm just going to probably taste the fall flavors and the fruit um, with the wine. And then I'm going to wrap it up. And I'm going to let y'all know what I think. Oh, I also bought myself some flowers today, y'all. Because I wanted some flowers. So, got to, you know, do some nice things for yourself. So, do something nice for yourself today. Um, <laughs> or tomorrow. Or whenever. So, got me some flowers today. Anyway, um, let me go ahead and open this wine and we'll see how it tastes. I think they said it's got the dark fruits. I didn't get strawberries. Um, I got blackberries because I like blackberries. It smells strong. I have an aerator. I should start using my hair. Oh no, my light went out. I think it's getting too hot. I gotta buy a new light. A new ring light. <sighs> Hopefully y'all can still see me. Oh no. Good lord. Hmm. Alright, that's the sign. I need to hurry up. Woo! It smells. Y'all haven't done one of these in a minute, so... Maybe that's a sign. My light went out, but it's not too dark. Maybe I should get some natural light. Be right back. There we go. Use the flashlight on my cam on my phone. That'll work for a little bit. I'll just have to hurry up. Okay, so I don't really smell. I smell spice. It smells like clove and not really cinnamon, but clovey-ish. And if you're new here, I'm an amateur. I'm not like, you know, the fancy people like sommeliers and, um, you know, people that go to school and have education on how to, you know, smell wine, sip wine. I do it for fun. So let's see how this tastes. Um, 
It's very spicy. Like, very... I don't know how I feel about it. I usually like Pinot Noirs. Pinot Noirs are one of my go-tos. But I don't know about this one. It's not bad. It's like burning my throat. I can taste the cherry. And clove. I don't know about the strawberry. I don't know about the other dark fruit. Let me taste it with a raspberry. A raspberry. This is clearly a blackberry. Um, try it with a blackberry and see. What a day. Maybe. Maybe it'll elevate or make it a little sweeter. But it's definitely got, it's definitely dry. It's drier throughout the, like it's got a drier start and, and a dry finish. Not sweet at all. So if you're somebody that does, that has to have something sweet, I wouldn't recommend this Pinot Noir. It's definitely not a, like it's not a smooth Pinot Noir, but it's not harsh. So. That didn't really do anything. Let's see if the pretzels make it taste any different. Again, this is a maple. I think it's a maple. They said it's a part of the bag. It said maple, pecan, yogurt, pretzel. I got these from Lidl. Lidl, if you're watching a couple of my other videos, I've had bad experiences with Lidl, but Lidl has a lot of like nice seasonal stuff. So I was going to attempt to do like a seasonal charcuterie um, board, but I only got two things that were seasonal from there. So let's see how this does. Maybe it'll bring, I don't know, this is sweeter than the berry. So maybe it'll bring out some sweeter. I don't know. Maybe it'll change the flavor. I don't know. We'll see. This isn't bad. I don't really taste like the maple or anything like that. Kind of just tastes like a white chocolate covered pretzel. I don't taste any pecan. So, I think that was like $5 for a big bag. That wasn't bad. But I probably wouldn't buy it again. It's too sweet. None of these are enhancing the flavor. Nothing is enhancing the flavor of this wine. Oh my gosh, my palate is like flatlined. Um, okay, let me try it with a piece of cheese and then I'm gonna give y'all my overall opinion because this video seems like it's taking a very long time. I haven't done this in a very long time now. Oh, piece of cheese. Let's see if the cheese does anything. Oh my gosh. cheese made it a little less bitter but it still tastes the same um I think this bottle just needs to sit open for a little bit so it can kind of aerate but the wine is not the wine is not bad um I personally I'll probably finish this and I probably would buy it again I just need to put it in my decanter what did I say what's it called aerator decanter I don't know decanter is fine um but yeah it's not bad it's really spicy. I don't taste the strawberry that they said is in there. Maybe if I would have had strawberries instead of blackberries, I probably would have tasted it. Um, it's just spicy. Like It tastes like cloves. Um, but it's not bad. Um, I think this bottle will definitely get you a little uh, lean into the side if you drink it all. Um, my throat is burning from it and I feel it in my gut. Like, maybe because I didn't really eat much today. I don't know, but it's not bad. Um, for $17, but I paid 8-ish because I have my 50% off coupon from Total Wine. Um, I would give this like a, maybe like 8 out of 10. Um, but who knows, when I finish the rest of the bottle, I might be doing some things. <laughs> Breaking curfew. So, <laughs> um, remember, it's always good to try new things. I tried something new today. I'm going to finish this bottle of wine and sip on it guys I'm not gonna promise you next week but i'll see you soon on a wednesday for another wine down wednesday until then follow me on instagram at black mountain wines 
Um, follow me on TikTok because I will probably be on TikTok before I'm on, before I'm on here. Um, do great, <coughs> excuse me, do great things, try new things. Remember, it's your palette, your choice, your taste. Do whatever you want 